YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Neil Goodfella, Goodfella Neil, coming through with another sneaker review, another sneaker opinion. Man, man, man. Hope you guys enjoying the videos. I've been enjoying making them. Finally got some downtime to actually make these videos. Now, if I'm wearing the same thing or something like that from a previous video or another video, just know that all those videos were shot on the same day. Just was trying to grind it out, guys, because I hardly have a chance to like make videos, then I gotta edit. And then you mix in real life with that. That kind of put a, that kind of slow you down. It kind of slow your process down. But anyway, outside of that, what we got here is the New Balance 574. And I've been waiting for this New Balance 574. They actually repurposed this model and made it a lot more better than the 574 from the early 2010s. And this is just for my box boys real quick. Y'all know what I do. I just show the box just so you guys can see model numbers or whatever, whatever in case you want to look it up. Um, now, I end up swooping mines off of Joe's New Balance outlet. I end up getting these for a whopping 40 bucks. Yes. Now, I end up getting these in the later part of 2022. Now, nobody is really not thinking about uh, the 574, at least any hype beast, rather. They're not thinking about this or resellers, really. So, uh, for the regular person, this should be an easy pickup. So um, this is the sneaker right here, man, man, man. Now, last time I reviewed this sneaker, it was years ago. If it was a bunch of them on the shelf, <clears throat> you would think, you know, if you've not put on yet, uh, this is one of the first ones that, that it is to go. You know, this is like one of them staple New Balance colors. I think I had a 720p camera. I was in my one bedroom apartment at the time. So now things change. I got my own house, got a sneaker cave down here. And uh, yeah, man, now you can see this sneaker in all of its glory. Definitely got some good B-roll on this sneaker and got some on foot as well. So let's get started. Y'all know briefly, I like to get into it as far as the overview of the sneaker, as far as like what it feels like and materials. Now, the good thing about me already having this sneaker and actually wearing this over time versus when I first I obviously got it is that I can actually give you guys a better review because I've worn the sneaker. And I think that definitely speaks volumes. You know, it's different to just get a new sneaker and just say, hey, yeah, this and that, blah, 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 the colors or whatever, and maybe even the materials, but actually how that sneaker holds up months later is definitely worth it too. Now I wear my, my sneakers and specifically these for like lifestyle purposes. I really don't, I don't run in these, but I've recently power walked in these and I definitely had a breeze with these. And uh, I knew these were gonna come in handy anyway, um, you know, Power walking, casual walking, definitely good for that. Um, you possibly could run in these, but you know, I know they have more better things on the market, better kicks on the market to actually run in, but it depends on who you are. Some people like the classics, What's, you know, what, whatever fits your boat, whatever floats your boat, really. So anyway, um, I will say first thing first, but it's to be a GR. The suede definitely feels decent. It feels nice. You actually got some of that finger swiping sway. Us sneaker guys go crazy over. And the reason why we go crazy over the materials, guys, is because the material, once you wear it, it it is more comfortable in the foot. Like, you know, it provides a better ride. Man, you get a bad sneaker with horrible materials, not fun. And then you have it like pinching the toe and all that stuff. It gets real bad out here. So. We definitely clamor to good materials. The materials on here is definitely good. The sneaker is definitely lightweight. It's not really nothing heavy or anything like that. Um, now you do got the typical New Balance N on here and like that silver color. On camera probably just looks like a plain gray, but it has that 3M effect or that uh, flash effect. Like if you hold a camera to it, it will actually reflect a reflection effect. Same thing on the other side as well. Also going to the back, you do have New Balance as well. This feels like it's in kind of like a vinyl-like print. One of the things that led me to this sneaker specifically as well is the fact that they had the 574 Classic New Balance on here. They did not have this on the early 2010 models, guys. They did not um, 
that's how I knew instantly that these just wasn't a standard reissue or retro. Um, but when I put them side by side, I've since sold my 574s from um, early 2010s. Those have a little bit more of a snout at the toe box, like a pig snout versus like this sleek toe. I like this new classic look that New Balance is doing. They got more of a sleek toe in here. You know, I, I don't too much care for the pig snout. You know, that's how the older one was. These look a little bit more sleek than the early 2010 version. I do like the fact that they redid these the correct way. At least that's the way I like them. Now I will say that the tongue seems to be a bit slim on this newer model that they dropped. Now on the 2010 version, or if you got some in the early 2010s or late 2000s or whatever, the tongue was a little bit more thicker and more a little bit, you know, a little bit more pillow-like. Not not like SB dunk um big, but uh it wasn't this small. It wasn't like this skinny. Going to the inside of the sock liner part of Black Sock Gang, you do have the white cotton sock liner right here to absorb sweat as well. Going along to the inside, you have more so of a like a teal New Balance 574 logo on the sole. Definitely beautiful. These are so good that I actually have a pair of 574s that I beat a long time ago uh probably about like the late 2000s that i use still to this day to cut the grass comfortable as hell but the sneakers are beat as hell and yes it might be hard to believe a sneaker guy like me um as clean as i keep my shoes i do have a lot more kicks definitely you can't replace those man those like that's like a one of one you also got end cap technology as far as the midsole go now the end cap technology is just a phone that's all it is, an EVA on the inside with slight polyurethane foam on the outside. The EVA on the inside actually gives you guys that comfort on the insole too. Definitely good for breaking in a sneaker and it's definitely, definitely provides a nice bouncy ride. Going to the bottom of the outsole, the outsole was inspired by BMX tires. The creator of this sneaker is Steven Smith. He created the 574, the 997, and the 1500 fly fly dude definitely was ahead of his time initially they wanted the bottom to have that 577 look the upper was like a repurposed 576 now usually the, with the 574 this is usually most people break in models for getting hit to new balance it was mine too the craftsmanship on here is decent you know even though it's not a made in usa model and it's definitely affordable. I don't see any glue or anything coming out, but this is one of the ones that you're gonna wear a lot. And having a sneaker, specifically a New Balance, and all gray is definitely that trademark colorway for most New Balances. If you get a New Balance in all gray, it's, it's kind of hard for them to miss. A seven as far as coming out the box, but as far as wearing them over time in a few months, these easily went up to an eight, especially I just went power walking in these the other day. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, man. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I was going to say like a 9.5 out of 10 or something like that, but I just give it a 10 out of 10 because it's the all gray model too. Like I said, the colorway wrapped up into this too, as far as like comfort too. Definitely worth it, man. It's like, how could you hate the 574? It's like a classic sneaker. It's less than $100 in most cases. Uh, regular retail for these going maybe about like 80 to 85 bucks but still worth it. If you're just looking for something quick, definitely worth it. So that's my time here for today, guys. My name is Neil. This is the Sneaker Cave. Rate, comment, and subscribe. This is Neil Goodfella, Goodfella Neil coming through. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Stay tuned. Peace.